Carcinization, a strange phenomenon that crab-like animals, apparently they want to become crabs. What is a crab? The Regina George of the sea? Every single one, they try to become a crab, but they look like imitations. They are not real crabs, according to the scientists. This phenomenon. I'm going to take that as an inspiration for artistic purposes. And you are coming with me. Right. What if I take other animals that don't have literally anything associated with crabs, not even a single strand of DNA, take that animal and let it go through the carcinization process? I have quite a lot, so this I drew it. Let me take the first one. We have the Nazi so very naughty. <laughs> Sun. I took from the original animal the tiger stripes that it has onto the shell and also the dots, tiny tentacles that it has or arms, I don't know, that this animal has in front of its face. Cute! Seahorse, such a cute animal, but if you think about making it into a crab, that doesn't work. But in my world, it does. The skin of the seahorse that it's quite like this and put it into the body of my crab then i put the pinchers and legs not so good thing i put the antennas of the crab as the tail that the animal has in the original form look at it appreciate it next manta ray the real animal is one of my favorite and i have put that shape onto this body also a tiny tail because how can you not appreciate a tiny tail onto a crab you can't right yet squid very easy i have put those flaps that are on the sides of the squid and i'm going to put it into the body of my crab because it's evolution so at some point you will have an element that will take on so in my world this is what it came out tiny tentacles because these are important to make it look like a squid so yep hammer shark it's one of my favorite sharks because it has a funny head and the funny head is literally on top of this crab because if it's already in this shape the evolution wanted it like that and so in my crab the head will be the same so you have a crab that is literally normal but it has a fin and the head of the hammer shark the most simple guy into the sea that is a sponge. It will never hurt you. But now it has the pinchers. With this sponge, you cannot wash your body because it will pinch you. This bad boy that has the body that is very squishy, but then it has the rough parts of the pinchers and the legs. Why doesn't this carcinization process begin like right now and finish in one year because I want to see it? Then I did a few smaller sketches. Clownfish is, I cannot even say a lot because it only has the stripe of the fish onto the crab. It looks cute, so we shall have it. The jellyfish, just like the sponge, is a cool concept in my opinion because we cut this in. It has the legs that are wobbly. And I cannot even express to you how much I love the idea of making a wobbly crab. Can you imagine this guy going around the sea? You cannot, and I love that. The only thing that it will be a little bit sturdier. I don't even know if the pinchers could be too heavy and stuff for this one because it's a jellyfish that goes along with the water and so it doesn't have a lot of strength. In my version, it does. And somehow it needs to be happening. Okay, thank you. A sea origin. Tiny ball of anger and so it's all pointy. I'm not going to take that away from him. The carcinization in this animal will take the pointy stuff and will keep it. We are going to add just one thing, pinchers. It's not pointy enough and so we are going to put other pointy stuff. It's literally the complete opposite of the sponge and we are here for it. I could have done a human crab, but that that's... Let's just keep that, it looks disgusting in my mind. So, 
I have it here. Look at this illustration that I did with all the crafts that I showed to you all in one place. Does it look good? Yeah. The crab shape is the perfect shape. All right, I finish. Goodbye. Peace.